Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cindy Julie, and I'm back with another video. As you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a very informative video today. So you guys can take notes, write everything down, because everything I'm giving y'all, people be paying when you really don't need to pay for this stuff. Like, it's for free. So, write everything down, and yeah, we're going to get right into it. Alright, so step one. So for you guys that's always wanted to, you know, get out and do like the wig and pussy thing, I feel like a lot of y'all don't know the cons to it. Like, I feel like y'all just want to jump and do it. A lot of y'all don't even post enough for a brand to even notice y'all. So how are we going to notice y'all if a brand can't even notice y'all when y'all are not even posting anything? Like, be for real. <laughs> be for real. Like, y'all want to be wig and pussy, but y'all need to post. Y'all need to be consistent with posting. So I'm a small wig influencer. I consider myself a small one because I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to evolve. So yeah, the tips I'm giving y'all are the same tips I'm taking in for myself. So for starters, let's be consistent. Let's be consistent. Let's start posting. Let's get our old wig that's in the closet and let's install it. Like, what are we waiting on? Like, y'all don't have nothing to do. Y'all want the free hair, right? So let's start posting. Let's be consistent and let's get to this money. I literally started from the bottom like I had like I really started doing the same thing I'm telling y'all to do install an old wig post wigs that you already have like if you can't do hair post wigs that you already have in your head installed and start reviewing them letting everybody know most preferably on TikTok let everybody know how good the hair is like a lot of videos like that go viral as well and you still get wig like you still get free wigs off of that like that's how I started off too so that's the first step. Be consistent. Stop being lazy. Stop procrastinating. I don't want to hear nobody say, I want to be a wig influencer. So when I go on your page, I should see you posting. I should see you posting everything so you can become that wig influencer that you want to be. So that's the first step. Now, how I started, I basically started off by posting my AliExpress wigs. I was at the time learning how to do my own hair. So I was posting my AliExpress wigs that I bought with my money. And I was posting on TikTok. Now, if you have my TikTok, you go all the way down, all the way down. You'll see the videos that I used to post. I posted hair and fashion. So I not only got hair deals, but I was getting like fashion, like fashion stuff, like clothing brands, wrong weed, she and stuff like that. So free clothes, like free clothes and hair. Like who wouldn't want that? Like be more consistent, start posting. So along with that, I was basically just posting, posting, posting until like I got to 10K, like literally. It took me half a year to get 10K. Then now I'm sitting here today with like almost 30K. Another way you can do it if you don't have hair, I've learned this from TikTok and it's work. I can show y'all the wigs that I used to get because I did both ways. I wanted to try new stuff, so you can go on Amazon, type in frontal human hair wigs. You should see a uh, sponsor in the corner, at the top corner or something, like in the top left corner of it. Those wigs need reviews. So what you gotta do is click that wig or whatever wig you're looking at and you're interested in, click the wig and look at the name of the company. Now usually the name of the company, they still have their Instagram, they still have the same Instagram name. So you can use that name, type it up in Instagram and give them a text or you can also email them from Instagram if they don't respond. Email, text, that's what I do. And I did that a lot. I did that a lot just to build, you know, clientele I guess. So, let me show y'all the wigs I was doing, because I had a lot of wigs. Like, one day, the only con I think that come with this is the your prices and the amount of wigs you have to do. One day, I think I got so many wigs to the point where it was just like, bro, I literally have to install this one, take it out the same day, within the next hour, and keep going. Like, you're going to get to the point where it's so many wigs that you cannot install all of them in that same week because you know you want to keep a hairstyle in you're going to want to keep that hairstyle in and you're not going to want to take it out but you have other wigs that you need to do so that's the only con to me but yeah let me show y'all the wigs i was reviewing and a few of them actually blew up on tiktok these are some of the wigs i have not bought any of these wigs y'all i got all of these for free it's about a couple of more than 10 so all of these wigs you see right here is wigs i was doing for companies that would just text me off Instagram. Usually they text me off Instagram or I email them or they reach out to me and basically ask me to review it and leave a review on Amazon and I get to keep the wig. Now mind you, I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I'm not only taking the free wig, I'm giving them reviews on Amazon, but not also I'm going on TikTok 
and I'm promoting the hair. So that's, you know, leveling up, doing stuff like that. Now, step two will be creating your script. A script that you send to brands to like sound professional, of course. So you will need to introduce yourself, tell them who you are and what type of content you're wanting to do. I'll attach my script and what I usually say, but I don't really use the script anymore. I feel like I just don't need it. I don't need it. So I'm reading these notes that I made for y'all. When y'all are texting them, stop being scared to email them. You know, stop being scared to text them. Do it, do it. It's not gonna hurt. If they tell you no, we don't need it at this time, okay? Go to the next one. Like, they're not the only hair company. Go to the next one, keep going, keep going, keep going. Step three, you can do gifted collabs. Now, when I started off, I did gifted collabs. I was not thinking of money when I first started. I knew it was a, you know, potential game to make money. But at first, I'm not thinking of it as a money thing. Like. I wanted to become a wig influencer, so I'm like, I'm going to take all these free wigs. I'm going to get the exposure that I need to grow. So these companies, not only once you do like the, you know, content that you're, they asking, they will repost you on their um, social media like Instagram. And that's how I grew. I think one company, my first company I did, which was, I started doing this stuff last year. No, I started doing this in 2021. I remember I got my first deal from Tanache Hair. And they text me and I was so in shock. Like when they text me, I was so in shock. So basically they asked me, you know, can I do this for this and this? But no money was mentioned. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna do it for free because it's a gift of collaboration and I need, you know, to get my name out there. So they sent me like a now when you start off, the inches are not gonna be that long, like the longest you'll probably get is like a 20 if you're lucky, probably 22, but I was starting off with a 20 inch, so I was pretty happy it was free hair, so so I did the, you know, content for them, TikTok, whatever, and they ended up reposting me, and other companies saw that once I took the selfie on Instagram, another thing you can do, when you have hair in your head, take a picture on Instagram, usually, you know, professional looking pictures, well, I'm not even going to say professional, like, cute looking pictures, that will attract attention. And this is one I did. I don't know if it's gonna focus. But this is one I did. And I tagged them and I made them a collaborator. Now I was paid to I was paid for this one, but you know, before I was tagging them, tagging them, any hair I got, whether I paid for it or not, I would tag them, tag them, tag them. And now one day I went into my message request and I seen like so many hair companies trying to get in touch with me and I did not even know. So if you're already doing this, go ahead and try to check your message request. Like, I feel like that's where I feel that. And a lot of them didn't even text me back because I was too late. They was already emailing me every day. I just did not see it. So check your spams, check your message request. Always do that. Every time you're posting, 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 check your message request and spams. You can do get the collabs or you can do like um, the money ones. Now, first, you need to start off with get the collabs just to get your name out there and to also build clientele. Now, a lot of companies do not want to work with fresh wig influencers because they feel like, why are we going to pay you? You literally just start off. But now, I don't know, like, that's how I start off. It might be different now, but that's how I started off. So, just use these get the collab now to build your name. And once you feel like, dang, I'm tired of doing this for free, that's how I feel. Once you feel like you're tired of doing it for free, go ahead and up them prices. Go ahead and start making your media kit. Now, a media kit is basically a price list and like your engagement, you know, the engagement percentage of like your social media. So, I have one out inserted here, but I don't really use it. I don't really need to use it. I'm just going to tell y'all how much I charge because I'm not going to keep sending this over and over again. I don't use my media kit, but I will if I feel like I need it, but I don't really need it. This is what I, I usually charge about like, when I first started, I was going for 50. And then I ended up going up. I was like, okay, you know, this is a little too much for 50. Let me do 75. And then 175 was like, okay, 75 is like a little too low for me. Let me go up 90. So I went up 90. I'm like, okay, now I feel like I'm a little bit more. Let me do 100. Okay, 100, 120. I'm sitting at 130 now. That's usually how much I charge for my TikTok wig installs. So. Wig installs like that, I charge around 130. My prices vary depending on the content you want, but my base rate is 130. If you're just wanting the basic, 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 basic stuff, 
I'm learning to up my prices since I am small with inclusive, but I'm learning as I go when I need to up my prices. Step four is basically quality. Quality over quantity. Now, if y'all know what that means, basically, every video you put out needs to look like you finna be on sale for $100 million. You know what I'm saying? Like, every video you put out needs to be quality. Quality to a T. And I mean, like, I need to see everything, like, the install process, the after, you know, wear some lashes, get cute. Every video you put out needs to look good. You need to look good. Your hair needs to look good. Everything. So the brands can see that, you know, you're worth giving the wig to. Because they already be they already be stingy with the long length wigs. So just show them that you can, like, you're worth getting that wig. I think that's all the steps that I have, like, it's really nothing much to it. Once you take the little things that I've put in this video and you kind of put your own little twist to it, you're going to be getting these wigs like nothing. So, yeah, um, if you guys are needing, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, talks, like, of how to do it step by step, or if you just need, like, you know, some questions answered, like, how much should I charge, stuff like that, I can definitely show y'all. All you have to do is message me. You can text me on Instagram or whatever site that you know got my social media on. Text me on anything. I always respond. I try to get to everybody as quick as I can. But this video is just mainly for everybody who's wondering on where to start, how to do it, and, you know, all the things you need. So, the only thing you really need to be buying is light. Basically, you don't need a special camera. I literally just got this camera, and I really don't even like using it. But, I'm using it now. But, the only thing you really need is good lighting. These lights are super good. They were only $40. I upgraded to these lights and yeah they look good so y'all should definitely get y'all some always keep track of the brand that you're working with whether it's a small Amazon company always keep track of everything how much you got paid you know the content always have a planner keep track of everything because you're gonna need all of this once you have your media kit when you have your media kit made you can put all the brands that you work with and send that over to companies so they can see like oh you work with all these companies we know them and you know they'll be more than happy to kind of help y'all out with these wigs but yeah that's pretty much it for the video if you guys have any more questions i'm more than free to answer them but yeah until next time thank you guys for watching